For this video, we're going to talk about how to build a pick list. And in an earlier video, we talked about how to modify an existing pick list field. An example was uh, volunteer skills. And then we showed how to uh, create a, a build a checkbox field. And since uh, pick lists could be really thought of as a, a series of, of checkbox fields just kind of combined together, what I wanted to show you was how to create a pick list. Now, if we're thinking about it uh, in the stream of uh, from, you know, you, a, a lead comes in and enters information and then you convert that to a contact, you end up having to have information, the same field in both the contact and, and originally in the leads. Um, and so what we want to do is to is to look at, at how do we kind of make it really easy for the user, but then easy to, to manage and administer. And also then that's true for reporting as well. So the more we use pick lists and check boxes, those kinds of things, the, the more consistent the information is and the simpler it is to, to manage. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to create a, 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 a multi a pick list, a multi-select pick list where we'd have multiple values. In this case, we're just going to have a, a single value you'll pick from a list. But you can experiment with how that would work. Um, gonna, let's see, in this case, I'm going to name it. I'm going to name it urgency. Um, we have the choice of using a global pick list value set or entering values. Now, entering values is what we did for the volunteer interest field. A lot of that was a legacy issue because global pick list didn't didn't exist. I think when the uh, the original package was built, um, but just to show you what the uh, the pick list value sets, they live within the objects and fields, uh, and in this case, I've I've built one called an uh, urgency time frame, and it just lists out a series of selections again for consistency to make sure that that we're able to then report on. Uh, what the status is of, of volunteers. Um, and what I'm going to actually do is end up linking this to required service as well as a separate step. Um, but let me show you how we would do this. So I'm going to add it as uh, uh, urgent time frames as my global pick list. Um, what that also means then is, is I can use this same information in the leads record. Um, and therefore, I only have to change it in the global pick list value set if I need to change it and it would occur as changes in both. Um, again, we can enter descriptions, texts, we can require it, we can do all the same things we've done with pick lists. In this case, I'm going to accept the defaults uh, in terms of what profiles everyone has access to, access to it for now. And then I'm also going to save it as uh, uh, to the layouts that we had. The one thing I'm going to notice, if you look at controlling fields, there's really no fields here that are controlling. And a lot of that is because out of the box, it wasn't necessary. But um, if we think about, uh, you know, a good example is like a Habitat for Humanity or something where you actually have different types of construction workers. So you can think of it as, as levels there. There is a, a field dependency option that can exist where you can have a controlling field in this case, what I'm going to use is required service, which is a checkbox. And then I'm going to say, in this case, we want you know, um, to, uh, to add it as urgency. And we're going to continue. And then what we're able to do here is select these. Um, and so I'm going to say for the check side, we're going to add all this information. And I'm going to say include these values. And I'm going to save it, but because I don't have anything in the uncheck side, because I really didn't didn't care, I'm going to say nope. There's nothing there I want to use, so I'm going to say just okay. Um, so then, what I'm able to do to test this is to go out and let me go look at a at a contact, and specifically let's go out and look at Debbie, and let's see what she has to say. Um, in this case, there's no required service, and therefore, uh, as we look at urgency, um, there's nothing that we can do with that field. There's no selections available. But if I say, actually, we're going to give her required service, 
then all of a sudden we have these options. And so we can say we want it in 30 days. And then we can save that. But that all happened because we had a checkbox makes those fields available. So again, that's a quick shot at dependencies. Thanks for listening. And uh, we'll talk to you soon.